Hey YouTube friends, this is Lady M62 and today I have a Bath and Body Works product empties video and I have a couple of Victoria's Secret items in here too but majority of the things that I have is Bath and Body Works and you guys this is an entire year worth of Bath and Body Works empties that I saved and every time I got finished one item I just toss it in my little bag. Let me try to get this somewhat organized and We'll get right into it. And I think I have like a little shower gel right there that is unrelated to this video, but I, it's in here anyway. Anyway, French Lavender Honey. This is a nice one. I already have like another one of these, so and I probably won't repurchase anymore because I'm pretty much tired of the scent. Cashmere Glow, a little bit too heavy for me. Didn't really care for it. Moonlight Path, hated it. I couldn't even finish the rest of it. This stinks. It's too powdery and it smells like a little bit more older than what I would like to smell. Violet Lily Sky. This is very nice. I think I have one more of those. Well, I may have given it away. Victoria's Secrets Love Spell. Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is a classic. I mean, you can't go wrong with Warm Vanilla Sugar. Winter Candy Apple. I, I, it's nice. I'm actually working on one right now that I'm almost finished with, but I'm tired. I'm getting tired of it. Wrapped in Comfort. I really enjoyed this one. I received a lot of compliments about it. Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. This one's not quite finished, but I'm tired of the scent. I don't want to um, wear it anymore. Here's another one. Breathe Calm. This is like really old if you guys remember this one. Japanese cherry blossom. You guys, I'm just over Japanese cherry blossom. I really am. Cozy Sunday morning. This was really nice. I received a lot of compliments about that. Here's another cashmere glow. Beautiful day. I used to like beautiful day, you guys, but I just, so many people around me were wearing it and the scent just started to annoy me. And here is a Paris Amour. I didn't really like Paris Amour. I don't know why, I just it just smelled too sugary for me, and I just didn't like it. So moving on to uh, the Triple Moisture Body Creams or Ultra Shade. They didn't change the name how many times? <laughs> so moving on to that. Be right back. Okay, we've got Oahu Coconut Sunset. And I think I have another one of those. Yeah, and yes, I do cut my thing open because even if you squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, and even like put air, you know how you kind of fill it up with air or whatever, and then you do like that and you squeeze and squeeze. You guys, even during all that, you still don't get it all out. And when I cut it, I literally get all of it out. I mean, I scrape it. I love Oahu Coconut Sunset, you guys, but I am totally, totally over it. Warm Vanilla Sugar. This is an old one. P.S. I love you. I enjoyed this one a lot and see the name was triple moisture body cream that's how old this is i don't even think this is going to stand up i'll put this in the back somewhere forever red vanilla rum this was very nice paris amour i've already told you how i felt about that we've got another one here oh it's just too juvenile for me this one mad about you it's okay I mean, it's, it's okay. It's, um, I like it, but it's not something that I would just go crazy over, but it's, it's okay. One of my favorites is Endless Weekend. I love this packaging, which is an older packaging, and I love the newer packaging as well. Sensual Amber. It's okay. You guys, I'm working on a Sensual Amber shower gel right now, and I don't think I'm going to purchase it anymore. Because, I don't know, maybe my nose is changing, but it's just starting to smell a little bit masculine to me. Or maybe unisex, I don't know. French Lavender and Honey. Victoria's Secret Amber Romance. This is a Victoria's Secret Simply Gorgeous. This is not uh, empty. But, you guys, once again, I had so much lotions and body creams and stuff that I, this kind of got put on the back burner. And you know what? This is a really nice scent, but it went bad on me, you guys. This is full. This is what happens when you just constantly, well, for me, when I constantly just buy, 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 and there's no way, especially being the only lady in the house, that I'm going to use up all of those 
you know, body creams before they start to go bad. And this is one of them. And I was so upset because it smells so good. It's gone bad, you guys. It's like really, really watery, liquidy. It's turned colors. It smells horrible. Upset me. Here is a... This is not related to Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret, y'all. Somebody gave me this and it stinks. And I never even <laughs> used it. <laughs> this is a Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea Body Souffle. I liked it. It wasn't very, um, it was nice. It was moisturizing, but it wasn't something that was overpowering. It left my skin with a nice soft peach scent. Moving on to just two uh, hand creams. This is uh, at the beach. I enjoy it. Okay, I forgot to add this little baby in here. This is a lotion and amber blush. While amber blush is nice, it is too sweet for me and just too, too juvenile for me. So I would not repurchase that. So we've got pink cashmere. It was okay. Would not repurchase it. Violet Lily Sky. I'm over that scent. Endless Weekend. I enjoy it. I have made a decision not to purchase any more of their fine fragrance mists because it last it takes me too long to get finished with it and by the time I get like halfway through I am tired of the scent and I find myself going to another bottle and then I get tired of that scent and that one's also halfway done and then I find myself going to another bottle and then I get halfway through that and I'm tired of the scent so fine fragrance mists do not work for me and I'm just not going to buy them anymore. Even when I use the travel ones, it just, I'm just pretty much done with the fine fragrance mist. So I won't be buying those anymore. If I get them as a gift, then that's different, but I won't be purchasing, purchasing them with my own money. Warm Vanilla Sugar, once again, classic. One of my faves, A Thousand Wishes. I think I do have one more of those. That one I will keep, I, the five fragrance mist to that one. I have The one that I do have, I'm going to keep. Cozy Sunday Morning, I received tons of compliments on that. Wrapped in Comfort, that was, this, this was very nice, you guys. That, that whole, um, not the whole set, because I didn't have the whole set. I just had the five fragrance mist and the lotion, and it was very nice. So many people complimented me on that. Mad About You. Oahu Coconut Sunset. Like I said, this is a very nice, creamy coconut scent. I'm just pretty much over the coconut. I mean, I'm over this particular coconut scent. Frosted Winter Woods. Y'all, I tried to wear this as a body spray, and I was like, uh-uh. I'm not trying to walk around smelling like pine cones and Christmas trees. So I did use this a lot. I mean, a lot during the holidays as a... A room freshener the same with uh, twisted peppermint you guys I don't know what happened with twisted pe peppermint for me but it just did not agree with me at all every time I sprayed it on I started to itch really really bad I did not break out but I itched so bad and I was like okay I'm done with this so I use it as a room spray and this is unrelated to Bath and Body Works, but I'm going to throw it in there. This is a Calgon. You guys don't waste your money on this. It's just, it's not really worth it. It was terrible. I use it as a rum spray. We've got Forever Red Vanilla Rum. It went bad on me. It's still like halfway through, but it started smelling like gasoline. Once again, because I have so much other stuff to get through, I'm having products that went bad on me. And... It's wasting my money. Amber Blush. I've already talked about Amber Blush. French Lavender and Honey. And like I, I have another one that's completely unrelated. This is uh, some type of spritz that someone gave me. So we're getting down to the wire. We just have a couple more items left. So let me go ahead and move on to... Um, 
some little small perfumes that I have. Okay, this is a really oval, just just a breathe calm. Um, like I said, you guys that know Bath and Body Works and that have been shopping there for a long time, that that is really really old. I have a little small Forever Red. I like Forever Red, but I'm pretty much getting over it now. Be joyful. This was okay. I'm glad I did not buy like the whole set because I probably would not have liked it. Wild Madagascar Vanilla. You guys, it's, I liked it initially, but it started to get too heavy scented for me. And I just, I don't know. I just stopped liking it. Here's another Forever Red. And let's move on to, I have just a couple of shower gels because I was um, using a lot more of like Dove soap and just like store, regular store bought shower gels. So I really don't have a lot of Bath and Body Works shower gels to go through. So let's move on to that. It's just a little bit. So we've got Oahu Coconut Sunset. Stress relief, eucalyptus and tea. That's nice. And we've got warm vanilla sugar. So I only have three. But like I said, I didn't really use a whole lot of my Bath and Body Works shower gels. I'm, at, I'm working on that now. And I have about four or five, a uh, couple of hand soaps here. We've got raspberry meringue. Fall Lakeside Breeze. You guys, I don't know about y'all, but these hand soaps last us a long time. And once again, there's only two of us in the household. So it's not like we have like a large family where everybody's using it. You know, we don't have any small children. So it's not like we're constantly like, it's, it's, you know, it's constantly being used. It's just two people in the household. And my husband works a lot. So he's hardly ever home. So, and I can only wash my hands, but so many times during the day before my skin starts to peel. <laughs> and we've got a marshmallow pumpkin latte. Pink uh, peonies and pear. This is one of my favorites. Southern lemon chiffon. I, you know, I like, this was okay, but I like the kitchen lemon a lot better, a whole lot better. And I've got two little pocket backs here. And you all know I do not buy pocket backs. And the only way I have a pocket back is if someone gave it to me. This is Magic in the Air. And this is Vanilla Cupcake. And I've got one last item that's related to Bath and Body Works. And that is a spray and frosted cranberry. This is really nice, you guys. It smells so good. And it lasted me a very, very long time. I'm telling you, one spray and it just lasts. It's, it's just one spray. So I enjoy spraying that. And here's an unrelated item. This is a body wash tone radiant glow. I really like this one. If they could take out the glitter that was in it, it was not, I don't know if I want to say glitter, but it was like a shimmer or something that was in it. And that pretty much turned me off from it. But it's, it's completely empty. I did use it. Would I repurchase that one? No, because of the glitter. So these are, this is all of the Bath and Body Works items, you guys, that I have gone through within the past year. Yes, since last April of 2017, these are all the things that I have been able to use. I am currently working on what I have left and I've done videos. I did two videos where I gave away a ton of stuff, you guys. I am trying to clear Bath and Body Works out of my home, you guys, as far as body care. I'm just trying to clear it out. So I'm working on using some, um, using up my products, you know, this year and moving on. And then I may end up giving away some more stuff. I don't know, but I'm just not trying to be a hoarder. With Bath and Body Works, and eventually this stuff does go bad, especially the Shea Moisture body creams. They do not last me very long. All right, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Everyone have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.